experts are warning against the use of aluminum foil, or you could face devastating consequences. Aluminum foil can likely be found in almost every home in the United States. It's cheap, readily available, and useful in a variety of situations. However, new evidence suggests that this ordinary household item might pose a hidden danger to the people who use it. Although commonly referred to as tin foil, the product hasn't actually been made from tin since the early 20th century. This was because the tin often left a metallic taste on the food it was used to wrap. Additionally, the original tin foil was stiffer and more expensive to produce than its modern-day counterpart. The first example of aluminum foil was made in Switzerland in 1910. The plant where it was produced was owned by G. J. Nair and Sons, who used the hydroelectricity generated by a waterfall to power their rolling machine. In this way, modern foil was born. Initially, aluminum foil was used by food manufacturers to package their products. Among the first to adopt it was Tobler, who wrapped their chocolate Toblerone bars in it. By 1913, the foil was being used in the United States to wrap Lifesavers and other candy. Today, around 660,000 tons of aluminum foil is manufactured in the U.S., with 75% being used to package products like food, cosmetics, and cigarettes. Hopefully, the foil itself can be recycled. This makes it more environmentally friendly than plastic wrap. Aluminum foil also has a great common use in barbecues. In essence, by using foil when cooking on the grill, people can keep cleanup to a minimum. Worryingly, though, experts are now warning that this could be a terrible idea. When you cook using aluminum foil, tiny particles of the metal can transfer to the food you plan to eat. And even though the aluminum flecks might not be visible, you could be ingesting them. Worse still, high doses of the metal have been linked to various ailments, including Alzheimer's and osteoporosis. In extreme cases, kidney failure could result. Most people do take in varying amount of aluminum in their day-to-day -day lives. As an illustration, the metal is found in cheese, tea, and many antiperspirants. And that's okay, since the human body is pretty adept at absorbing and expelling small amounts of aluminum. Moreover, the World Health Organization claims the body can take in 40 milligrams of aluminum without the metal causing damage. Although this may be true, one study has shown that if you cook food using foil, your body may be absorbing as much as six times that safe amount. The study also established that one piece of meat could potentially carry as much as 400 milligrams of the metal. Unfortunately, the situation is exacerbated when food is cooked in acidic substances such as lemon juice. According to the study, spices cause food to absorb more aluminum too. Fish is often baked in foil, meaning this so-called healthy food could contain worrying levels of aluminum. And it isn't just through cooking that we're exposed to aluminum on a regular basis. For example, the chemical compound aluminum sulfate is used in the water purification process. Combined with other sources, the amount of aluminum in your body could add up. Despite the seriousness of the story, elements of it have come under question. Some argue that although cooking with foil means food has a higher aluminum content, this may not actually matter. According to one report, published in 2011, the body absorbs less than 0.4% of the aluminum it ingests. Moreover, of that tiny amount, only a small percent actually makes it to your brain. Consequently, it makes it very unlikely that the food you eat can give you Alzheimer's regardless of how that food is cooked. Just 1% of the absorbed aluminum ends up in the brain. Let's assume that a piece of meat cooked in foil is carrying 400 milligrams of aluminum. On average, your body will absorb about 1.6 milligrams of that. It follows then that just 0.16 milligrams of aluminum will find its way to your brain. In order to create unnatural levels of aluminum in your body, and in particular your brain, you would need to ingest a huge amount of the metal. Not only that, but you would have to do so extremely regularly. So where did the theory that aluminum gives you Alzheimer's disease come from? The idea that aluminum and Alzheimer's are connected began years ago. It began after scientists noticed that the people who died of the disease often appeared to have a buildup of plaque in their brains. Subsequently, this plaque was discovered to contain aluminum. Ever since, debate has raged about just how much of an effect aluminum levels have on incidence of Alzheimer's. Even though there are some links between aluminum and drinking water and the disease, these have not shown to be conclusive. Likewise, the data does not suggest it could be the sole cause. Food cooked in foil 
might contain higher levels of aluminum, but tea also contains a significant amount of the metal. Consequently, it might be that the current fears over foil are unfounded. People have been drinking tea for centuries after all. Be that as it may, there are actions you can take if cooking with foil is something you're concerned about. Put bluntly, you'll need to stop using it. Instead, you can place your food either directly on a rack above the heat source, in the case of a barbecue, or in some aluminum-free bakeware if cooking in the oven. Whether you believe that aluminum causes Alzheimer's or not, there is one safe way to use foil. So long as you use it solely for wrapping food and not for cooking, the aluminum will not be absorbed. Ultimately, this phenomenon has only been recorded when food is wrapped in foil and then subjected to heat. Please do not forget to share this video with your friends below.